We cannot afford to repeat 1983, moving crab-like towards reality. You know the narrative, or those of you familiar with the Labour Party do. Among the far left, we won the argument. It's just for some inexplicable reason the British people, having decided we were absolutely right, decided to vote for the other guys. <laughs> Among others, it is many of the policies were really popular, but maybe too many of them. Our leadership was a problem, but it did inspire lots of people. It wasn't that we were too extreme. We just allowed the media to portray ourselves that way. We now have to stand with our communities and the assault which will be mounted upon them by the Tories, etc., etc., plus a bit of we need to be with working class communities against the liberal London elite sort of populism. If we go down this line, I tell you, it'll be 50 years more of Tory government. The country won't tolerate this, and this is the challenge for Labour. There are people disenfranchised in our politics today, angry at the way the country has been let down by its non-conservative opposition, and feeling hopeless. <coughs> and for the country, there's a generation of smart, capable, politically conscious people, especially young people, who will never be Tories, but have no place in Parliament because of the state of the Labour Party, and whose talent is therefore shut out of the contribution it could make to Britain. The agenda of the far left is not progressive. It's a form of regression to an old status tax and spend program of the 60s and 70s, and it won't work. I understand why for some it has real attractions, because it speaks to the intense feelings of marginalization and desire for radical change, particularly after austerity. But it's essentially a cry of rage against the system. It's not a program for government. The Labour Party is presently, today, marooned on Fantasy Island. And I understand would-be leaders will want to go there and speak the native language in the hope of persuading enough people eventually to migrate to the mainland of reality. But there is a risk that the only people speaking the language of reality to the Labour Party today are those who don't aspire to lead it. <coughs> Unfortunately, 2019 is much worse than 1983. Then was our second defeat. Now was our fourth. The country is different. <coughs> Politics is different. The country is less fixed in political affiliation. And politics moves at speed, accelerated by social media. We don't have the luxury of the slow march back. We can correct our historical and contemporary weaknesses or be consumed by them. The choice for Labour is to renew itself as the serious, progressive, non-conservative competitor for power in British politics, or retreat from such an ambition, in which case it will be replaced. That is how stark, harsh, difficult, but true the choice is. And the choice is now. Thank you.